and welcome to 2023 and we might as well start the garden right might as well <laughs> uh brandon is getting everything set up because we are going to mix up our seed starting mix because we have to start seeds today yep what are we starting today peppers peppers early peppers okay so let's get to it sir so walk me through seed starting mix 2023 version is it the same have we changed something what's happening well what was the uh last year's version um peat moss uh perlite and i think you put fertilizer in it i think so so what are you doing this year well i don't have any organic fertilizer okay i have peat moss Cool. Uh, vermiculite and we have worm castings. Vermiculite or perlite? Uh, maybe it's perlite. 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 We had this conversation last year. Oh. Remember, I called it vermiculite, and you were like, "No, it's not vermiculite because vermiculite is the stuff that that holds, holds, holds water. water." Yeah, that makes sense. And then you're gonna add something new this year? Worm castings. Worm castings. And what are worm castings good for? They're a fertilizer and soil amendment and supposed to have microbiology so i'm no expert i'm just kind of gathering what i find on youtube into a theory cool all right so we have a new gizmo this year because you don't want to mix this by hand what what is its name a cement mixer. yeah but what have you been calling it back saver 3000 or something <laughs> yeah so we bought a cement mixer for two reasons. One, soil mix, starting mix. And two, we are still building raised beds. More success than the last update, but it's yeah. been a struggle. It's been, it's been a whole thing. This is not was not a project that um, we thought was going to go as chaotic as it was but it, it it was a chaotic project well just cutting in here real quick to let you know that the video i'm talking about about the concrete raised beds that we're working on um yeah that video is not posted it's currently sitting in the editing suite because i haven't finished editing it and I haven't posted it so um it's coming as of january 1 it's coming still so if you're watching this um anytime after january 3rd the video should already be up <laughs> thanks guys for sure Okay, so what's the ratio? Are we gonna do the same ratio, different ratio? What's the plan? Do uh, two parts peat moss to one part perlite. Okay. I'm not sure on the worm castings yet. We're gonna season it like uh, seasoning food. I'll stop when my heart tells me to. Okay, perfect. Scale. You're gonna weigh it? I'm gonna weigh it. Okay. One pound, 8.5 ounces, but I gotta subtract the container. Three point two ounces. So one, one pound, five point one. So one pound, six ounces for easy math. Okay. So now that you've weighed it, what's the plan? Well, instead of measuring out a bunch of buckets, we're going to do seven parts, hopefully of that, and get it in there faster than measuring buckets out. Okay. So. Cool. We'll get that weight out. And... All right. Well, we'll see you in a little bit. Oh, and there's Hannah. You haven't seen her in a bit. She's huge. She is four months old now. So yeah, we're gonna get this going and we'll see you in a little while.
read through it, like, you'd have to read on what everyone uses. You can do food scraps at home, manures, compost. They'll eat through it, digest it, and then add in whatever enzymes and stuff are in the worms oh, okay. to uh, help the soil. So it's just really broken down, nutrient-rich soil. Oh, okay. Cool. Round one is done, making another batch. This is definitely a lot faster than last year. Oh yeah. Back's a lot more heavier. Oh, that's good. So we got the worm castings, we've got the heat moss, we've got perlite. A gallon of worm castings. Okay. Four gallons of perlite. Okay. Eight gallons of peat moss. Okay. For a seed starting mix. Okay. We'll probably go heavier on the worm castings when we start up potting stuff. Makes sense. So I'm going to start with a little bit of water in there to hopefully help settle the dust of the perlite. So did putting the perlite in with the water first pay off? No, it did not. It's all stuffed to the bottom. <laughs> I'm sure somebody was watching this and was like, yeah, that's a bad idea. Don't do that. Yep. Somebody knew better. They just didn't speak up. <laughs> They're yelling at their screen like, what are you doing, you idiots? And here we are. So this is um, not what not to do. So by the time we make like the third or fourth batch, we might actually have this actually down. Yep. Probably add the peat in first. Which is what we did the first time. Yep. But we didn't break it up the first time. So to recap, peat in first, break it up, then add the, peat, the perlite, then the worm casting. Yep. I think so. I don't know if adding water is helping my situation or hurting it, but... Here we are. We're here. <laughs> Let us know what we're doing wrong. Please. We don't know what we're doing. Go ahead. Go ahead.
three batches. Three batches. Okay. So we've got this tub's completely full. And then we've got this guy over here. So how long is this going to last us? That's a good question. <laughs> Don't have a clue. Okay. So yeah, we're going to get these things downstairs because that's where we're going to do the actual seed starting. And yeah, we're starting peppers today. Peppers today. Anything else getting started in shortly? Uh, there's something mid-January, but I don't remember what it is. Okay. Cool. Well, guys, I hope you have a happy new year. And let's, here to, here's to the 2023 garden. 2023 garden. 2023 garden. Let's begin. Thank <laughs> you.